Hi there, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. I know I've done a video on this previously a couple years ago, um, but Chief Architect has changed uh, a couple of things. One, one thing, um, it's somewhat minor, and I thought I'd just refresh. Today's tip is about doing remodeling plans. Uh, and somebody on Instagram, I believe it was, uh, asked how do you do demo plans versus the new plans and I wanted to share just quickly how, how I do it. Um, I have started out with this uh, existing conditions model um, that we're going to add on a little laundry room out in this nook here in this corner and what I've done is I've I fit, completed the existing conditions I did a file save as and called it a uh, new file, right? Whoop, I gotta move that one down just a bit. Um, so from there, uh, with the existing file, I can create the existing demo plans. With the new file in my template, I've got a new wall type, new file wall, new wall type uh, options here. So I double click on the um, wall dialog, wall tool, and my exterior wall defaults, I'm going to choose siding six, that's uh, for me that's two by six construction, new. We'll click, actually I'm going to choose siding four new, and I'm going to change that just a bit, and uh, click OK. Now you can, you know how to do the material defaults, um, set up and all that. I won't bore you with that information. So exterior wall is siding for new and my interior wall I'm going to do wall types interior for new. So the way I've got it set up is when I draw a new exterior wall it's going to be blue like that. A 2 by 4 wall will be blue and if I let's let's uh, just for giggles change this to exterior six, siding six new, mine is yellow. All existing walls remain white. But on this, I would like to see where windows, doors, uh, walls, fireplaces, stairs maybe got moved from. So before I draw any walls here, I've got in my template a layer set called existing plan. I'm going to choose that layer set. What that does is that turns off everything except for walls, windows, doors, stairs, fireplaces, um, things that I want to see in my existing plan that's laid over the new plan. Uh, now that I've got this, I can do CAD, CAD detail from view, from the menu. Or in my temp my uh, toolbars, I've got that icon right here, CAD detail from view. Click on that once, and that turns those 3D objects, the walls, uh, windows, etc., into a 2D uh, drawing. Each of these lines is now just a CAD drawing. So I'm going to select those parts that I want, just here. And I'm going to copy Command C on my Mac, Control C on your PC. Switch back to floor plan. I can do that through the window or on the tab here. I'm going to switch to default annotations here. That changes to my default layer, layer set. And Command Option V or Control Alt V on your PC pastes those objects right on top. Now don't do anything just yet. Okay, don't click, don't touch anything just yet. Uh, you can see in the lower left hand uh, corner of my screen there's 595 objects currently selected. We want to keep those currently selected because we're going to change all 595 uh, uh, objects. And we're going to change the, their layer. Again in my template I've got CAD existing plan layer set up. And I want my color to be checked, my style to be checked, and my weight to be checked. And then simply, 
drawing group. Now I'm in, in version X9. Uh, version X8 does not have this drawing group option. Um, but if you're in X9, you're going to select the drawing group and just put it all the way in the back, number 38. Click OK, and we're set. Now, not a lot has changed, so we don't see exactly what it is, what's happened here. I'm going to hit the um, Layer tool and just make sure my CAD existing plan layer is turned on. It is not. I'm going to turn it on and lock that layer. So if I go delete a wall or a couple walls, there it is. You can see where the wall used to be. I'm going to undo. If I'm going to move a window, you can see where that window used to be. I'm actually going to delete that window and I'm going to draw my exterior walls again. And I'll put a door. Now I know that door is right in the same spot as where the window is. This is a small example project. Um, it's not a really great project to, to uh, show a lot of changes in uh, in existing conditions, but you get the idea of, of how to set it up. I will say um, I do have my template for sale on my website. You can buy that for $20 and get all this, the layer sets and the, the layer uh, names and the wall types, etc. set up. It is important to, I think it's important to do it this way. I haven't seen any other ways of doing it because of the way that Chief Architect uh, views walls and rooms in particularly. There's not a way to create a demo wall um, wall type and have it uh, have it the same on, in the same plan as a new wall type. Um, if I were to have a demo wall type through here, like this, for some reason, it just it that creates two different rooms and and it just you don't re you really don't want these walls to be um, uh, to be visible even in the 3D views either sections or elevations as well. So I I turn the walls all into uh, line type into lines. You don't see that in elevation. You don't see it in plan because they're in back unless you've moved something or deleted something, and uh, you get the you get the uh, communication that you want uh, made to the uh, whole group. So this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions. Thanks for watching. If this has been helpful, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate the encouragement. If you've got a different way of doing existing demo plans, um, share that. I'm, I'm always curious. And if you've got ideas for how uh, maybe a topic you want tips on upcoming, let me know in the comments and we'll work on that in the upcoming weeks. Have a great week.